This is the DAN here. Um, today's video is about calculators. That's right. And my camera is not on a good charge, so we. I got the charger in case you need it, so we better get through this. On the left, you see here is a TI 83 Plus. Um, and on the right is a TI 86. The cases are literally exactly the same. Also, this one's like more scratched up since so. Also, um, this one here, I own, I own the TI-86, while well, I do not own the TI-83+, plus. I'm borrowing it from my school. Anyway, let's flip over to the back. It's a little different, except this one doesn't say education. This one doesn't have TI's webpage on it. This one has an ISBN on it. Um, they both have batteries, although someone else supplied these. Um, someone else mixed the batteries in here. Yeah, this is school property. This is anyway. Um, and we can get into that. And let's reveal the calculator CI86 here and TI83. So we're gonna do a boot up race and see which one starts up first. And I think the TI86 was maybe a bit faster. Um, a tad faster. Um. So, um, they look, two of these calculators, the actual base looks, looks similar, but, um, the arrangement of the buttons are completely different. Um, this is, like, its own, uh, pizzazz and stuff like that, um, all this stuff, um, in, in mixed in different places. There's no math or apps on here, um. Um, this one is, um, this one, the buttons on here, again, so the, sorry for the inconvenience, my camera's battery died, just like I expected it would do, so the layout, the buttons on here are laid out, it's very similar to how they're laid, how they'd be laid out on a TI-84, which is the model calculator I use at school, except it's like, in a TI-86 case, like, like that, um, so, yeah, again, that wins, so, um, graph, you have to press this button on here, or this top button here, and there's an error on mine, so I can I would have to, um, change the, um, y equal, y equals, or some, some sort, to 8 minus X. Error again. Mm. I'm going to try to make this a usable calculator. Maybe I can just format it right now. Okay, whatever. Um, you know what? Maybe I should just format everything on this calculator. Second plus seven, one, two. There we go, and let's see if I can get to the graph now. So, here's, the, they look different. Uh, your functions are display actually displayed on here. There's F1, F2, F3, F4, F5. Although on this calculator, if you want to get to the F functions, you have to press alpha, and then the button that you want. Now I want to go back to the graph. So, um, basically it's all um, give and take here. Um, let's see which one can hold more digits of pi, shall we? It's second. Um, this can hold more digits of pi. This, I believe, it can um, holds the first twelve digits. Although this only holds the first ten. On the TI-84s at school, they can only hold um, up to 3.14, actually. That's all it displays, or at least on one of them. So, that is just, yeah. So, functions on these two calculators are a bit different. So, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to do a bit of learning on this machine here. This I've pretty much mastered since it's 
the buttons are just in the same places as they are on the TI-84 like they used to. So that's my comparison video with the TI-83 Plus and the TI-86. So I'll put them back in their cases. And 